I'm not going to pick it up. I'm not going to pick it up. That's where honest opinions will always matter. Honest opinions will matter because I'm not going to let my viewers cheated by companies that has false claims. So three times I started doing compass calibration, the compass fails, tells me that I have magnetic interference, right? Here is my Apple Watch, here is all my freaking magnetic that they are talking about, here is my freaking wallet, here is my shit and everything. I kept it out, right? I will take my jacket on, off, bullshit, right? Compass calibration, my shit, take my jacket. I kept everything out there. Let's do compass calibration. I even kept my controller out here, right? So, it's in the ground. It's not anywhere else. Okay. Level surface. Okay. Now, I have to move the drone like this. It failed again. Where can I calibrate the compass now? Let's go out there. Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. And uh, this is going to be a small video because um, the last video of the unboxing stretched out a little bit uh, and went where I was not about because there was a little problem with the lens and you saw that there were scratches on the lens right out of the box. And I didn't even do anything. It came shipped like that. Well, um, not that I'm going to return this drone because that's a cosmetic defect. I can work with that. Uh, now, let's see uh, how to turn this drone on and what you guys need to do uh, before you fly. So, at first, pop the battery in. This is how you turn on, on the drone. And you want to, and hold it. So, hold it for two seconds and the drone turns on. So, you'll be seeing lights blink, blinking and stuff like that. Then you take your uh, phone in and... Uh, pop the phone in and connect your uh, USB to lightning cable as shown out here uh, you can see I've connected the USB to lightning cable to my phone and after that you hold on to this power button and uh, long press this for two seconds it will turn on and go ahead and unlock uh, your phone and uh, then uh, go ahead to the App Store and uh, download this app okay so that's the pilot app uh, that you need to download and it will be saying connected. Uh, after that, you just have to go to the QR code reader and you scan the QR code which is right out here somewhere. So uh, go ahead and scan it and uh, the camera should recognize. Hold on a second. Hold on a second, I will try to bring it closer to the... Okay. And then the controller uh, binds to the drone. Now you can see there is saying on a software update. So press confirm. Second, I'll move bring back to focus and it upgrades. Settings pretty much you can go to photo mode and select photo size and select this to 16 is to 9. So make sure you guys are doing it in the beginning, otherwise, you'll not get that stretched out uh, kind of stuff. So we will go back from the photo size, um, ultra high image quality, JPEG. Uh, I don't should I don't think I'll need a DNG on this. Metering is okay, so metering mode, spot, center, okay, center is fine, I'm okay with center. And uh, then this is auto, uh, and there, from there we'll go to grid, I need the grid. So the button out here on this side, you can use the camera for the camera to go up and down. Camera button out here, if you can see, that's your picture, and uh, this is your recording of the video. More than I love the drone, I actually love the controller. To be very frank and yep that's your first boot up and uh, that's what you guys need to do before you fly so for four minutes you saw that i did my homework everything was fine i had updated and everything and in the testing this happens look around look around the whole place do you see any magnetic interference 
Do you see any magnetic interference? Now where will you find this ideal place? You're traveling. Okay, I'm going to do again. It's a kept on a level surface. You guys don't even know how frustrating it is to calibrate the drone for two hours. By the way, DJI never does this. Never. And you guys said that this is going to be a better travel drone, right? Well, we'll see that. Don't worry. Alrighty guys, uh, so it's been already one and I think two and a half hours if I'm not wrong. I'm struggling to do compass calibration on this drone. It was horrific. I was all over the place. I was super frustrated. Why is this so complicated? DJI products are not that complicated. Like the spark is easy. Just fire and fly. So what how the drone is drifting? Do you think this is a safe drone? Alrighty guys, so now we'll move on to the real footage. Uh, all this footage was shot uh, with the unique Mantis Q. Uh, this is all 1080 at 60 fps. Uh, electronic image stabilized footage. So this is their stabilized form of footage. So this is the reason when I first posted the video uh, about unique Mantis Q versus DJI, I told you guys, I warned you guys that this is going to happen. You just cannot achieve stabilization and watch when I'm cropping in that is the image quality that's how poor the image or the video quality is you just cannot have electronic image stabilization if you do not have a little bit physical stabilization I mean to be very frank I've got shot another footage with a GoPro on top of a, a drone watch that footage alrighty guys have you ever watched a knockoff version of active track well, this is something called visual track. This is a complete knockoff version of DJI's active track. Now watch this. In this whole time, the drone doesn't even know. So the drone guesses where I am actually because of the camera. But uh, I'm trying to go away. It is trying to follow. It's doing its weird thing. Watch this. Whenever I turn around and try to run, it cannot follow me. Watch the drone footage on the right hand the corner. You will see that uh, I turn and I try to run fast and the drone lost me. Wow. Yeah, I want to land this. And I'm pressing the joystick directly down. In DJI, it just comes down and it's uh, not even landing properly. What was that? What was that landing? Best travel drone, right? This piece of shit is best travel drone. You know how many people can get injured with this stuff? This is a lethal vape weapon. It's not safe at all. It's not, I'm, this is like, 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 this is no joke. It's not safe to fly this. You're going to injure somebody somewhere if you're flying it for fun or anything. I wonder, that's the reason now Mantis Q is out of stock everywhere. Do not buy this drone. Do not even think of clicking buying this drone. I do not get sponsored. That is the reason I can. I can give you honest opinion. Hey, hey, what are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, well, I am. What I am doing is that I'm f trying to find a place for this drone in uh, 2018. Very compact and very easy to travel. But come here, let's see what I can do with this. Oh, look! There's a trash can, and you know where this drone belongs. To the trash the drone
I'm not going to pick it up. I make I make money. I make six figure. I'm not going to pick it up. That's where honest opinions will always matter. Honest opinions will matter because I'm not going to let my viewers cheated by companies that has false claims. I know that this is going to be controversial. I might probably receive some letters or anything, but I paid my own money. I own this product now. And that's what I did with my this product. 